Hello everybody, this is Adrian Boucher here, Steyapa from seasons two, three and four of The Last Kingdom. Um, as you can see, I'm currently on my new production in the desert. Uh, perhaps more about that later. Um, and I'm recording this because I had some very favorable comments on the behind the scenes look of season three, which I released last year. And so I've done another one for this season, season four, about my life on and off the set of The Last Kingdom. So I hope you enjoy it. A um, little word of warning, I advise you to watch season four first in case there are any spoilers in the material which I have produced, which may spoil it for you. Otherwise, please enjoy this and I hope you have enjoyed season four. The Magnus Knut. Yeah, I'm Oshin and I play Whitgar. I'm Adrian playing Stay Upper. I'm Debbie playing Sabu. That was it, the read through for episodes. Yeah. First four episodes. Um, let's just say it not... was emotional. And here we are, Heathrow Terminal 3. Again in this mean old town. Let's hope there's somebody waiting to pick me up. Please be here. Please be here. That's me. Hello. I'm nice Adrian. To meet you. What's My your name? name? Peter. Hello, Peter. There is no messing around today. I am straight off to costume for a fitting and then make up after that. That's my costume fitting done. No great changes, but um, I think it looks good. And now I'm free for the rest of the afternoon. I've got to say it's great to be back in Budapest. It's a lovely, mild, warm spring afternoon and it makes a very welcome change to the sleety conditions I left behind in London. I am back at my old stomping ground. The name of the hotel looks as though it's changed, but it's still the same hotel. So I'm going in. This is my first day on season four, and I'm in my new season four costume, which is basically season three's costume, but with a few minor tweaks. Stapa has some new posh male armor, which he loves, and he's got a sort of a, a tweaked lower half of his jerkin thing. I've always loved my costume, and uh, it's even better this year, so it's, it's fantastic, and I'm very happy. Uh, now, today I am doing two scenes. In the first scene, I am running in and conveying some vitally important news. Obviously, I'm going to be doing that without actually saying anything. And in the second scene, I'm standing there. Um, so I'm guessing they're saving Stay Up as big dialogue scenes and speeches for later in the season to um, ramp up the suspense. Whew, end of the first day. Um, that was quite tiring. I stood for about nine hours again. Um, I've been away from this place for a year, but it really does only seem like yesterday. And I certainly hadn't forgotten what it was like to stand for nine hours in full mail. don't want to be finishing your scene halfway through the afternoon because then you have to come back through all the outskirts and all the inner city traffic and although you only may be a mile or so from your hotel it's gridlock and all you want to do is get out so that's what I've done I've got out I've come and tried to drop me off and as you can see I'm walking down the the boulevard, the tree-lined boulevard of one of Budapest's major thoroughfares. And 
this may be one of the last chances I get to do this, so I, I thought I'd grab the opportunity. Uh, it's, it's lovely and I'm going to miss Budapest so much. Well, three goes. You think you might get the name right in one of them. One of the hazards of working what's known as a continuous day is that you don't get a set time for lunch. So the lunch gets ordered in a sort of bracketed time and you can eat sometime in that bracketed three hours. It does mean that if the uh, director wants to keep shooting, by the time you get your lunch, it is a congealed mess of fat and God knows what that is. Anyway, let's get it down you. Yeah? Good afternoon. It is a beautiful, beautiful spring day here. Um, it's, I say it's spring, but it's actually almost scorching hot. And it gets a lot hotter than this during the actual summer. As you can see, I'm sat on my trailer steps, as are, well, a lot of the other cast. We were all called in to do a big throne room scene. And as a result of something unexpected, um, one of our cast is indisposed and can't do that scene. We're having to do a fill-in scene, an unexpected fill-in scene, um, to use up the time. Um, that fill-in scene is <clears throat> a love scene between Uhtred and Ethelfled. Ethelfled came in this morning expecting to do the throne room scene and in fact she's been told that no actually she's going to be dry humping Uhtred which I suppose is not a bad prospect if you're a woman so um, Millie is currently taking one for the team good luck girl we're all thinking of you I've just heard that we are about to go on it is it is now 9 15 uh, nearly nine hours later that was a long love scene. Uh, I guess our hero has more staying power than I would have credited. And I thought they called me stay upper. Ah, well, update. I've just had a big coffee and a chocolate bar to get my energy up for this scene. And the first lady has come in and just told us to stand down because there's now no time to do it. Um, which is kind of what I was expecting, I suppose, but you have to hang on in anticipation. So that's a day of basically just sitting around chatting in the trailer, which does happen occasionally, and it'll probably happen again. This is just part of the business. As you can see, I am now back on our <laughs> out of town. Give us a wave then. <laughs> As you can see, I am on our out-of-town set for the first time this season and I'm making my way through the arch and it's fun to be back here. This, this is everything for real here. I'll just give you a, a panorama of the marketplace. We're not shooting in this bit today. We're going through into the sort of courtyard of, well now, King Edward. This is where I started off doing my very first scenes back in season two where I was giving Ethel Fled a fencing lesson. Do you recognize it? Um, I have just arrived back in Budapest and unfortunately, um, so I'm told, there was no room at the inn, uh, any inn. So they have very kindly put me up in a very swanky apartment. And I happen to be on the top floor, which I guess makes this the penthouse. And I'm gonna show you around. So here's my little um, private sun terrace. Isn't that 
nice. Well, thank you very much to whoever organised the accommodation this time. I was a bit worried that I wasn't going to be in the hotel, but they've done me proud. Thank you very much. And I think, yeah, I think that is St. Stephen's Basilica there. getting finished off on my costume here but look what I've spotted a cobweb <laughs> in, cobweb in Stayapa's trailer so that shows how long ago he was last here or how proficient the cleaning is anyway <laughs> not so hot today second unit but we do have some lovely music do you like a bit of opera Tim Oh, so I get into character. <laughs> <laughs> and there's my army, or well, your army, mate. Drone is going up now. Is it time to work? I think it's time to work. Balmy evening here in Budapest. And it is the eve of my battle sequence. And I think it was Dr. Johnson that said nothing concentrates the mind like the prospect of death in the morning or death by hanging on the gallows, something like that. And that is kind of what I'm feeling now. Tomorrow morning or afternoon, Steapa will die. And I've got to be honest with you, I've got a horrible sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. Uh, I, I feel sad to be exiting the show, particularly halfway through the season. Uh, I think I have 31 words in seven scenes over four episodes. It's, it's not really a massive end for my character, but I'm still very happy and feel privileged to have been in the show and I've loved it and I will do my best to go out with a bang they've given me quite a decent uh, fight sequence or a couple of fight sequences with which I'm I'm I, I am to die so I'm a bit nervous about getting those right um, and thankfully this time I will be fighting with actual proper stuntmen who know what they're doing and hopefully will allow me to show what I can do as well because I haven't done that since really what episode three or four of, of season two the attack on Dunhelm which given that I'm meant to be the warrior Steapa seems somewhat awry anyway here I am my last night of life feeling a bit melancholy um, I shall have to pull it all together tomorrow because it's a very early start. So there we are. Yeah. All things come to an end.
lett az elején, mi volt a kérdés? Ha... Kell -e még autó oda föl neked? Én még üres hagyok, még nem ült be senki, nem tudom még, hogy kell-e. Szólok, hogy kell. So this is it, um, the 5th of June, not quite D-Day, but it is my D-Day, it is my day of days, as Ragnar would have it, and we got here nice and early, and, oh goodness, uh, this is my trailer, wow. Uh, <laughs> And oh my lord, they've... this... Oh my god, I've got a... It looks like a suite. Look at this. White sofa, little desk, sink, wardrobe. Well, they've... Um, they obviously know it's my last day. Hey-ho. Thank you very much for killing me. <laughs> Coffee and a sandwich time. Oh god, there's a queue. Oh, I've timed up badly, haven't I? <laughs> well, I've just done my first uh, fight sequence. We rehearsed it for two days, got it to a pretty good standard, and then we rocked up on set this morning, and every single one of the stuntmen that I rehearsed it with has been swapped out. So and we're shooting uphill, which we didn't know, so that kind of changes all the footwork and everything. And they decided to change some of the choreography. But I'm afraid this is just what happens sometimes, and you just have to go with it. Um, we went with it, and it worked. But there was one take. It was one take. Which I was... Well, I was surprised at, but I suppose I shouldn't be. Um, so that's it, so one more fight uh, before the stay after death. And hopefully some lunch in between. Okay, stand by, go again, guys. I don't mind saying I am absolutely fucked. That was a really, really intense day. I didn't expect to be doing that scene so many times and it's such a tight battle space. And I had a splitting headache at one point because I was getting dehydrated. Uh, but we got through it and uh, just to do the last take, the drone shot was quite exhilarating to know that that's done and I can have a rest and a bath um, and get some cool air on my skin. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> This is it, uh, my penultimate day on set. Um, it's a Friday, which means only one thing. Tim? One more day until Stiafa Saturday.
Well, this is a surprise. I, <laughs> just when I thought I was out, they dragged me back. I thought I was all done. I got killed a couple of days ago. And now I find out that I've actually been included in one more scene back in uh, Edward's palace, back in our in-town interiors uh, set. So, here I am. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. This is it. Final shot of my final scene of my final season. Ten minutes, I'm out of here. Well, that is that. That is the end of Stiapa. Just done my last scene. I made a bit of a speech. I uh, started my first scene in that building three years ago. And I finished my last scene last season in that building at around this time of the year. And, and now it's appropriate, I guess, that I finish back in that building. Um, they all gave me a big round of applause and it was, I can't say I didn't get a bit emotional. believe my luck. It's only been two weeks since they killed me off in the last kingdom. I had a few days holiday in Rome and now I find myself back in sunny Budapest which is where I'm going to be for the next few months if they let me out <laughs> working on my new project. So I am delighted that I get to see all my old besties from the last kingdom and it turns out I'm going to be working with some old friends on my new project. So, thank you very much, Life. Uh, the adventure continues. And look! <laughs> it picked me up on time! How good is this?